What's up, epic gamers, and welcome back to The Domain. You join me for another just quick rambling video. This is going to be mostly unedited. Today, I wanted to finally talk about the Witcher Mega Constructs, because quite a lot of people have been asking me, Simon, you've been, you're making all these Mega Constructs videos. Why aren't you talking about the Witcher? Good question. Basically, just had too much to talk about. It's just been a very busy month. I mean, I've still got to make more update videos on the uh, Toymation competition, the Christmas Toymation Fest. Uh, the main update being that we are now accepting any green Spartans to be the Master Chief to uh, allow anybody to enter our competition. And we've also already received a lot of incredible entries, so very excited about that. So today, yeah, I, I, I've been clearing out my, uh, well, <laughs> I say clearing out my videos, I still got like over a hundred unedited videos that I've made uh, and still need to release. So, I mean, I have no way near actually getting through it all, but I'm still making a little dent. And now I finally got time to talk about the Christmas Toymation Fest. And a lot of this news is coming from Mega Constructs News at Mega Blocks News. He's a great, uh, reputable site for all your Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks News. He's on Twitter and Instagram. I've been good friends with him for years. And he's actually hosting a contest right now, which I just wanted to shout out before we get started today. And uh, all the links to all the things I'm looking at will be in the description down below. So we got contest time. To participate, please read the rules shown in the second photo. So basically, you have to create a custom, let's see, uh, with the holiday around the corner, I figured I'd run a custom contest for you guys. Uh, like the first contest, it'll be a custom contest, but with a specific theme. The theme is simply make your dream multiplayer Spartan or Elite. So, yeah. If you want to enter, there's some really great prizes, and you've just got to make a custom Spartan or Elite. Some of these look absolutely outrageous. I think some of these are... Are, are these Matty Crafts? Are, or maybe these are actually Mega Constructs News. That that, that unicorn Spartan is, is incredible, that Photos. Uh, with the, what, what a wild flamethrower. Is that a Statue of Liberty Spartan? I don't know. There's some really great stuff there, so uh, definitely check out this competition. Um, and shout out to Mega Constructs News for just keeping us all up to date. So first of all, we've got... Well, actually... First of all, there were these images, these very low uh, quality images that surfaced of the Witcher Mega Constructs. I don't want to talk about leaks, so I don't talk about this kind of stuff until there's actual images, and now we do have them. This is the Mega Constructs Witcher Geralt's, is it Geralt's? Geralt's? Griffin Hunt. Now, I do want to specify, I've, I've never really played the Witcher so contently. I know it's like basically one of the greatest games ever made, and I played a good amount of the Witcher 3, um, Wild Hunt, but I didn't quite finish it. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool because uh, just recently the Witcher Wild Hunt has announced a free next-gen update So it's now more compatible with PS5 and Xbox Series S and X So that's a really great step forward for the Witcher It's a really great way to bring the franchise to more people because a lot of people do say this is like the one of the greatest if not the greatest trilogy uh, video game RPG franchise of all time uh, it, it says one of the most acclaimed RPGs of all time. Like, uh, it, it, it is absolutely outstanding, and I would love to see... Oh, Netflix added content as well. That's pretty fun. Um, I would love to see um, some actual, uh, like, next-gen gameplay. I would love to, you know, get stuck into that. I will definitely give it a go. It's probably on Xbox Game Pass. I don't know. But, yeah, and we've even got a timeline here. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, The Witcher, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a relevant moment to uh, bring Mega Constructs uh, or to bring the Witcher into the Mega Constructs universe. We've had a lot of good IPs that Mega Constructs has represented over the last few years. We've had Destiny, we've had Call of Duty, uh, you know, we've had a lot of uh, the Black series, which are like individual Mega Constructs figures, and we've had things like Futurama for those, um, all sorts. And then obviously uh, Masters of the Universe has been a really successful franchise for Mega recently, and uh, this new set just uh, got... It's been, like, teased a lot, this Battle for Eternia collection, too. So it's good to see that Mega is still making Masters of the Universe. They just released the Snake Pit Mountain, and they're all doing really well. Apparently, that, um... The Castle Grayskull is one of Mega's best-selling sets ever, so good for them. Now, The Witcher Wild 3, I, I, Wild 3, The Witcher Wild Hunt, I want to kind of, like, I, I don't know quite how popular Mega Constructs would be with, with, with the Witcher franchise, like, 
sometimes I think, uh, so one of the issues is uh, this was announced on the uh, official Witcher um, Twitter. And uh, it looks great, but then the first comment, cheap clone of Lego, so nope. Bro, what are you talking about, dude? Like, honestly, what are you talking about? You're gonna look at that and say it's a cheap ripoff of Lego? Like, ah, oh, just, there's, there's not so many things that really wind me up in this world, but one of them might be uh, the misrepresentation of Mega Constructs. I mean, calling it a cheap clone of Lego, so by your logic, no other construction company can ever make construction products without being a knockoff of Lego. It, and uh, Lego have stolen so many things from Mega. Lego have probably stolen a lot of pieces from Mega. Like, it, it's just, it's such a moot uh, conversation. Like, it, it, it's almost like he would have bought it, but because it's a it's a ripoff of Lego, then no. What, so you want this guy with no articulation whatsoever and just this stumpy little Lego figure? Come on. Come on. The, the funniest thing to me is when I see, like, people on YouTube with dioramas of, like... Um, like the Battle of Mandalore from Star Wars, and every one of the figures is just like, because like they can't even articulate. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So um, yeah, I'm not all about that. Um, I, I think that's a ridiculous take, but there we are. The Witcher, uh, yeah. So basically, the 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 only challenge here is going to be convincing Witcher fans to buy this. Um, and one of the main issues will be uh, actual actual publicity. I know a lot of Call of Duty fans that still don't really even know that uh, Mega have ever made Call of Duty, and they've made so many, so like so much Call of Duty now. So we're gonna have to see. Now I don't know the exact law behind this set. Um, it's Gerald's. Griffin Hot. Now I had a quick little dive and I saw, uh, you know, the Royal Griffin is uh, apparently like one of the main uh, difficult bosses of uh, the Witcher franchise. So I would love uh, some Witcher fans to give me some more context um, in the comments down below. Apparently, like, it's it's a big deal. You can check out the Royal Griffin here. Uh, I assume this is the Royal Griffin. I don't actually know. Um, I don't think it'll actually tell us anywhere. Uh, Geralt Griffin Hunt. Yeah, Hunt. Oh, I read Hut at first. So, the Griffin Hunt. So, is this, is this Geralt's house? Or is this where he, the Griffin... I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below. Because <laughs> I ain't no uh, Witcher fan. But I still... I'm a big mega fan, and you know, I mean, I'm a modest, I'm like a light-hearted Witcher fan. Also, what is this cable? Does this actually light up? Yo, yo, mega, mega, are you doing some little, you doing some little light up bits? Ooh, I've zoomed, I've zoomed out way too much there. Um, ooh, look at that, yeah. So, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Why, did, why was it? Why, that's so janky. Um, that's wild. So it does actually light up. So um, you, you, you always may think, oh, Simon, you're, you're doing this. Uh, uh, you know, you're not really doing your research. I like to react to everything fresh. I want you to get my fresh reaction, my fresh take. What on earth happened to this page? Oh, my goodness. How did I, how did I zoom out there? That was weird. Um, yeah, okay, so the Witcher Wild Hunt, yeah, so they, they were the original images, let's pull up those nice images again. Um, in general, I think it looks like a really good build, it does surprise me that Mega's gone for a light set, uh, a light settings on it, like, um, it seems like you run a wire in and it lights up, uh, those outside lights, maybe whatever that is, a big, big crossbow, <laughs> I don't know what that is, and, uh, a fireplace. That's that's pretty that's pretty awesome, man. That is really awesome. Let's uh, let's bring this to Halo. Let me know in the comments down below what uh, Halo things or sets uh, do you think uh, could work really well with uh, lights? Because I got some ideas. This is funny. It reminds me we we did a live stream, two live streams recently, where we built a log cabin from a company called Funhole and their log cabin, uh, everything lit up inside. It was fantastic. It was a really great uh, build, 3,000 pieces, funhole.com, uh, hole, W-H-O-L-E. 
Yeah, all right, 1,100 pieces. The house could be a little more fleshed out. It, it, it could... It could be a little more 3D, but I still like the fact that, especially if it lights up, I like the fact that the whole back is is bare so you can, you know, display him brewing his potions inside and, and forging his sword or whatever he's doing. Is that meant to be? Yeah, that, I guess that's meant to be a smith's. Uh, they got the, he's got the anvil there. Seems like a bit of a small fire pit, but he does have an anvil. Um, do you have any comments? No, no, she's a sleepy girl. Yeah, The Witcher 3, uh, the figure itself, this is probably the best look at the figure we've got. Uh, also, the etching on that sword looks really badass. Um, these figures are just so detailed, dude. And if, if Mega ever release a single card figure of this, I will definitely grab one. I have, like, one of each of, like, the main... Like, I got the Predator and I got the Terminator and things like that. You know, every... Uh, and the Borderlands figures. Every uh, figure that they've released uh, from a different franchise, I've tried to pick up one. I got some Mega Bloks Barbie. Fight me. Uh, but this Witcher, yeah, I would love to get him. Uh, the Ger Gerald, or Gerald, or whatever. Um, but we'll see. Also, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, Mega Constructs News. Um, we do have a really cool piece of information, which I'm going to talk about in a separate video eventually. Um, it seems like Mega are transitioning to brown bags for the sets, which is just phenomenal. Um, absolutely phenomenal. I'm so happy about that. And yeah, the first time uh, this ever happened was on um, the Tesla build. Uh, the Tesla Mega Constructs, Tes the Mega Constructs Tesla was all brown bags, and I, I was so happy about that. So it's pretty exceptional. I thought I worried that the brown bags in the Tesla build were a result of Tesla, not Mega. So I'm happy to see that. Uh, very happy to see that this Hornet is getting some brown bags. That is bad to the bone. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your experiences with Witcher are, whether you think this could succeed, what kind of what kind of creatures you would like to see Mega make. I'm on the fence as to like how popular this will be because I don't really know Witcher fan the Witcher fan base. Like I don't know how dedicated they are. Um, oh, that seems seems like uh, the two swords there that we got in the set, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, also, it's a bit of a shaky time considering Hen Henry Cavill just stepped down as uh, as the Witcher, uh, which is a real shame uh, because apparently this show is really great. Like, I've heard some good things about it, but no, Henry has unfortunately stepped down and will not be returning. And he's also been he's also been sort of forced out of DC Superman role as well. So, not a good couple of weeks for Henry Cavill, honestly. Uh, wish him the best. And also, apparently, wi The Witcher has a new series coming out called Blood Origin, which, I mean, sure. Um, when I see something like this, all I think is, oh, Netflix was making some money with The Witcher, so they're just going to pump out a couple more series. Like, uh, especially this poster looks so uninspired to me. Like, I, it's, there's just nothing about this. Everything just looks bland. I love this actress. Uh, in uh, everything everywhere all at once, but this just looks just just bland like and people weren't even in the same room um, You know, it might be really good. It might it might be really good, but that that post looks Pretty dull to me, but what can you do? Um, so let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below and thank you as always for tuning in and make sure to check out Mega Constructs News uh, giveaway here their competition and also uh, make sure to enter the Christmas Toymation Fest because it's it's incredible I love the Christmas Toymation Fest. Already received some really cool entries, so shout out to everyone who's already submitted. All right, this was another video with the domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> she, she's, so, she's so cute. You're so cute, aren't you? Aren't you so cute? All right, signing off. See you next time, folks. <laughs>